What's going on you guys? We're gonna talk about how to level up your dating life. Okay, so I'm gonna give you three things uh, to help you do this. These are three basic things. Um, they are basic, they are simple, but they're not always easy. Uh, and I'll explain why in a little bit, okay? Because if it was easy, everybody be doing it, okay? So what I want you guys to focus on is what are the things that I'm missing from here and what can I do uh, to start improving that? I'm actually gonna give you four because I'm gonna give you a bonus one at the end that's a little bit more specific, a little bit more strategic than the first three that I give you. Um, but these are all three things that I've done. These are all three things that I've focused on with my clients um, and I definitely think that these are three things that you should focus on as well too if you are looking to upgrade your dating life. Okay, we're gonna start with number one. Number one is going to be to have a social network. If you're looking around and you don't have a lot of friends or you don't have any friends, uh, that might be something for you to work on if you're looking to upgrade your dating life. Now, say for instance you're like me and you're kind of like a lone wolf and you're kind of like a guy who historically in the past hasn't you know, really spent a lot of time socializing and all of that stuff. When I was very young, before I got into all of this, that's what that's how I was, and I didn't think like having a social network could help me. But once I started focusing on that, and I started focusing and taking an honest look at the friends that I had, you know, were they doing the kinds of things that I really wanted to be doing later in life? Were they doing the Were they, um, you know, dating the kinds of women that I wanted to be dating? And a lot of times the answer was no to these questions. So you don't have to cause any drama and say, hey, you're cut out of my life. But I definitely think you should consider spending time with people who are at the place that you want to be and a lot of times they won't accept you at the beginning so you kind of have to have a happy medium of people um, where you know maybe some people might not be where you are but they're trying to get to where you're you're trying to get as well too okay so I've spent time with people um, that are doing the things that I want to do that are you know lead the dating lives that I want to lead you know dating the kinds of women that I'd like to meet you know so if you're looking at that an honest look at your social network can help now you don't have to cut people off like I said but I Spend more time with the people that are gonna be better for you. Okay, number two is going to be to learn how to have fun. Okay, this is something that I talk about a lot with my clients because it's kind of like game. You know, like if you don't know how to have fun, like she's not gonna wanna experience things with you. Like I get clients all the time that are super good looking, that are really rich, but they don't know how to have fun. And so as a result, the woman gets a bad experience when, when spending time with them. I'll, I'll tell you what, most women would take a guy who is not as good looking, who is not as rich, but is fun than a guy who has those two things but is boring any day of the week. Because it's the experience that they get when they're spending time with him. Sure, it's cool having a big house. Sure, it's cool having six pack abs, but it's not cool if it, you're still bored and you're still um, you know, not feeling great when you're around them. Like, why would anybody choose that? It doesn't make any sense. So learning how to give them a better experience and, and not focusing so much on those, well, you can focus on them if you want to, but like not thinking that that's just gonna get you the kinds of women that you wanna get, okay? You need to have other things as well too, and this is where the kind of, you know, the game comes in. Like, if she sits down and has dinner with you, like, what's her experience gonna be like? Is she gonna have a good time? Is she gonna be laughing? Or is she gonna be checking her phone, wondering when the check is gonna come? Like, you have to give people an experience. That's something that I talk about probably the most out of anything on this channel. <clears throat> is how to do exactly that. This is what I focused on for most of the time when I was trying to upgrade my own dating life. Okay, number three is going to be to have something that you're good at, okay, or get good at something. This could be your career, this could be a hobby, this could be anything, but like it has to be something that's not like just about women, you know what I mean? Like. You can go out to a party, you can um, maybe talk to somebody or you get dumped and usually during that period of time, you're not gonna be feeling so great. If you're not getting the affection and love that you want or you're not getting the attention of the women that you want, then you might not be feeling as confident as you would like because you can't always count on that. You can't always count on people but you can count on yourself and you can count on your skills that you have. So if you have something that you're really good at, like for me, for instance, I'm ta I take great pride in my, uh, in my business. I take great pride in like my, my jiu-jitsu, I do a lot of jiu-jitsu, and I take great pride in some other things that I do as well that are a little bit nerdier, <laughs> okay? But that's something that I focus on, and at the end of the day, even if things don't go my way with another person, it could be a woman that I'm dating, um, then I always have that to fall back on. And I think that bedrock of confidence allows a lot of guys to, uh, to really move forward, and if women see that you're just kind of lounging about and you're, you don't have a goal, you're not heading towards anything, um, you're not as attractive, so I would improve those things. All right, and the bonus one, you guys asked for it, well, maybe you didn't ask for it, but I'm giving it to you anyway, and <laughs> the bonus one is going to be, uh, you know, be a little bit more strategic about the kinds of women that you wanna meet, and 
be at those places that they're gonna be at. So a lot of guys will, you know, they'll be like, oh, I just want a, a higher quality woman, or I want a woman who's hotter and smarter and caring. But that's too generic. Like, you have to think of a little bit more specifically about really, you know, what kind of woman, like, what does leveling up your dating life mean? Like, hopefully, it doesn't just mean looks. You know, there are other things that are gonna be important. You wanna get specific about them. You don't want it to be something that's like, oh, um, you know, I, I just want a girl who's like more intelligent. Well, where are you gonna find this person? Okay, are, are you just gonna like, I don't know, go to a go to a class and hopefully you meet a smart girl. Well, like you need to actually have a reason to be at that class. Like, is this something, a subject that you might be interested in? You know, I coach a lot of like real estate guys and um, you know, they meet a lot of other real estate people at like networking events. And, and a lot of times this is for them a high quality woman because they're career oriented, they take care of themselves, like those kinds of things are what they're looking for. So they meet them there. If you're looking to meet models, maybe you gotta go to those exclusive parties that they're at. Or maybe you learn how to organize a photo shoot yourself. Like you have to be a little bit strategic about the kinds of women that you wanna meet and what you can do to meet them. And uh, don't do something just to meet women. Uh, I mean you can, but like it's better to do something that you're, that you actually enjoy. Uh, Cause you'll do it consistently and it, you're gonna be more attractive doing something that you like as opposed to something that you don't like just because you're doing it to meet women. <laughs> it honestly kind of looks a little bit creepy. Um, cool, well those are the, all the ways that I uh, had for you guys. So if you made it to end, consider subscribing. I come up with videos like this every single week. Thanks a lot for watching you guys. I haven't posted a lot of videos recently but I'm gonna be doing more so I uh, hope to see you guys there. And thanks for watching again. Good luck out there.